Hello, I'm Bunny, and today I'm making a video because we came at the end of hashtag Project Bloggers Empty, Empty Bloggers, sorry, hashtag Project Empty Bloggers, sorry. And I want to show you what I used in the three months that the project was ongoing. I had this huge bag filled with everything because. I actually realized that I didn't take any pictures within the last month of the things I used and I just kept chucking it in the big bag so I kind of lost track of what I used within the last month. That's why I want to make a big video of everything I used and go over all the products I kind of used. I'll try to do it as quick as possible. I'll just randomly grab in there and show you what I get out of the bag and tell a little something about it so I would suggest you just pause this now go to the refrigerator grab yourself a little drink um, grab yourself a little snack I suppose and continue with this video so go and do that now so I'll just randomly grab whatever I can get I just go deep in the bag and I'll get something out and I have this this is the Etude House Milk Talk um, shower gel in chocolate he should focus automatically but he ain't doing it today again come on darling focus no not focus okay not focus I kinda enjoyed this because it smells just like chocolate and I smell like mm, I smell like a chocolate cookie after I used this, it really was like I dipped myself into chocolate and I was like a praline. So good. You're gonna hear me chucking things around as well because I haven't been here for recycling. These kind of things, mostly I just keep them. If I can screw this cap off, I keep them, but these I can't keep. And I have a little thing here from containers I keep to reuse. So you're gonna hear me chuck things away because that's a plastic one. Oh, I see this one fell out. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about this whenever I get the content of the box. This is the Botanics, the Boots Botanics Power of Plants Cleansing Toner All Bright. This is for all skin types with hibiscus. No, it really does not want to focus today. I guess it just focuses on my poster back there. Um, this was a very, very nice toner. I really enjoyed using it. I would actually buy it again if I just didn't have a ton of toners waiting for me to use them. So it was very enjoyable. Helped me get rid of some impurities and helped me not to get as much breakouts as I normally do, you know, around the time of the month. It just really helped me. So I really enjoyed this. And this is the micellar water, the micellar water 3-in-1 cleansing solution, the ultra calm. This is for the sensitive skin. I used to have the one for the normal skin or the, yeah, the normal skin or all skin types. I used to have that one too. I really enjoyed these just as a donor. It really helped my skin clear up a lot. So I would rebuy it if I didn't have a shitload of those waiting for me to use. A little L'Oreal El Sev, um, Real Extraordinaire, so Extraordinary Oil, um, this is the conditioner. I use it because it was almost empty and I don't really like it. It made my hair greasy and it didn't really keep it nice for a very long time. Oh, <laughs> silly story is one. Um, I know it's a bra, but can you see that? That's my damn underwire. This girlfriend stabbed me in the heart. Really, I mean, like so, and it just stabbed me. Um, I was at work and I felt this pain. And I was like, what is that? And I grabbed my boobs and I felt and I felt and I didn't grab it, feel anything. So I went to the toilet and checked and yeah, my underwire was coming out. And I would actually, normally I would just fix it, but the other, other side is about to go as well and I don't know if you can see it, but that was the color on the inside it used to be, and that's the color on the outside. So I used it 
very very much. I actually use it until it almost faded away into nothingness. This is the container of my Yokibi Active Food um, Shakes in natural honey. This is from the company XLS Medical. I am actually working on a market research for them. They are testing the shakes to see if they really really work because they are now on the market and they want to know how many people are actually happy and to use them and if they're very very effective. Um, I can say they're not very effective on me but I hope other people are in, in more luck than I am. I'm not going to elaborate about it because I don't think it, there's a need to elaborate about it. They're just meal replacing shakes and they don't really do a lot for me. A little shower gel. I actually just poured this one into a big one so this one isn't really gone. It's still there <laughs> but it's not really gone uh, because I'm yeah, running out of space for my stash so not a lot to say about that. Oh, more lush. This is the container of my Bush de Noël, my facial cleanser that was a limited edition at Christmas time, so at the holidays. It smells, mm, it smells delicious, really. it's completely gone. I'm gonna keep the container to bring back to Lush, so if I have five containers, I can have a free facial mask. And I think I almost have five containers, and I've already been to Lush not that very long ago, so that's a plus. This is the Cosm... Cos I was going to say cosmetic, um, I mean Cosnature, the um, shampoo in Wild Rose. I didn't really like the smell as much, I didn't really care for it. I, I can't say I don't like it. It's a nice smell, it's Wild Rose. It wasn't really wild for the rose, haha. -ha. I didn't just really fancy it, it didn't tickle my fancy, and but it was a good shampoo, so it worked fine, otherwise I would not use it, wouldn't I? This is a little shower gel, bought this at my local dollar store, the Action. This is a So Me shower and lotion, so douche and lotion. Um, caring shower cream in aloe and lemon scent. It was just so so, it's cleaned. Nothing much to say about that. I'm gonna have a lot of things I don't have much to say about, I suppose. This is the Bavi Fat. I'm saying that right, right? Yeah, Bavi Fat. <clears throat> um, strawberry face mask was strawberry, strawberry clay face mask smelled like real strawberries was fantastic and I'm gonna keep the container because it's just so very cute and I think I can put cotton balls or that of something in there um, or just use it to put anything else in there maybe something I broke and replace it this it'll be used I'm gonna speak about these I think I have another one in there, yes, about these three together. These are fantastic shower gels by Yves Rocher from their bio line. They're not actually gone, I used them um, to make shower jellies, lush shower jellies into shower gel, so I put the shower jelly in a cup or in my blender. I poured this in my blender and I blended it. And it made a little shower gel because these are not very highly um, scented or very scented. So they really complemented my shower jelly, so they actually still live on. Um, this is one of the shower jellies I actually pureed. I murdered it <laughs> and I made shower gel out of it. Um, this is not a real Lush container, you know, the black one I showed you before is the real Lush container. I bought these because I wanted to depot my jellies to go to Lush to get a fresh face mask. And these come in handy for a lot of things, so... Um, I'm not going to really speak about these because I made the shower gel out of it, so they are doing great at the moment as shower gel, they're going to be used, so that's what I'm going to say about those. I'm going to have a lot that I'm going to just check out, I suppose, um, because they're now shower gel instead of jelly. The anatomical Puffy Eye Back Slayer Wake Up Under Eye Patches, fantastic patches to make me look like I'm actually awake. I'm always looking like I'm dead or half dead or like I never woke up in the morning and if I have to go somewhere I really prefer these to put them under my eyes to really look like that awake. So um, 
I might actually go and search for these again or maybe just buy other other eye patches. I'm going to the Primark tomorrow. Um, so I might actually buy under eye patches. Um, I don't know yet. This is not the container like this one says first bug geranium, but I know it was something else that was in there. I was gonna say the name of the shower gel. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's not physician's philosophy. That's it. It was the philosophy cupcake that was in here. Um, I emptied the bottle like I think almost a year ago in this because I wanted to chuck the bottle out. It was too big for my cupboard and this was more compact. And the big bottle was almost empty, so I just had this left. I used it. It was fantastic shower gel. The container I made myself for my snowman fun. I actually finally used it. It smells great. I still have another one, though. I have to admit that. I have a lot of Lush. So I'm going to make a new box soon with, I think, more Lush products in it so I can use more Lush. I really liked it. it, made a lot of bubbles in my foot baths and it had an incredible smell. Another shower gel by Yves Rocher. This is the Red Tropical. Really liked the scent. It was a scent that was a limited edition, I think two years ago, maybe three already. I lost count. It doesn't say on the back or anything. It doesn't say when it was made or something. I really liked the smell. It had a soft kind of... let me describe it better. Yeah, soft, fruity, kind of tropical scent. Cleaned like a mofo. Another one of my almost deceased shower jellies, but still alive, my zombie jellies. And another one, this is Nightwing. Really like the scent of it, but it's so damn stupid to use it in the shower. This one is one of the harder jellies, I think. It's not as good to put into my loofah. So um, that's why I mixed it. Just made jelly squash out of it and then mixed it with some chow gel to make it liquidy more. Um, you're gonna see some of these come through too. These are the wrappers of my naked um, snacks. These are the fruit and nut nibbles. I really like those. They also have bars. These are in the sand strawberries and cream and tutti frutti. I'm gonna see if I can find the other wrappers. They're somewhere in here. Um, this is a wrapper of one of their bars. This is Banana Crunch. And they also have flavor, flavor infused raisins. And these were in the scent Cherry. This is the Spa Secrets. Um, coconut Water, Frangipani, White Sand Body Scrub. Really like the scent of the scrub. The scent of the scrub, the, su the scrub was great, it was really hard to get out of the tube. Look what a tiny little hole. And sand scrub is kind of more viscous than other scrubs, for me that is. I'm just gonna move a little. Um, when I squeezed it, the top just blew open, so I had to cut the whole thing open to get the rest out. Um, it still has that fantastic frangipani scent. The frangipani scent is just wow. It makes me think of summer, really. It's like a really, really summery scent. I would not buy this one again. I might actually buy this one again if they make it into a pot instead of a tube. Another bit of Lush that I just poured into a bigger bottle because I'm expanding too much. I just want to say it kind of calmly. No, not make a big fuss out of it. I'm just expanding too much. And I'm actually mixing my stuff. Things that I don't need to keep. Never mind. Oh, that's another one I just poured to get more space for whatever new I got. A pair of eyelashes, the Essence Frame for, f frame for Fame in 05 Natural. Lashes with a mini glue in it and a clear strip. I used them once, tried to apply them twice and they were all crooked and I pulled them off, put them in their box and now they're gone. Bye bye. This is the Berry Frost, let me say, the Simple Pleasures Berry Frost Shimmer Body Lotion. Um, I put it in there because I thought the shimmers would actually give me a rash. 
I'm going to talk to you about that because, give me a moment, because of this one. This is the Ulta Cutie Pie in Mandarin and Cherry. What a scent. Fucking nice scent. Really. Wow. The only thing my skin doesn't like is the shimmer that's in there. There's a shimmer or a glitter in there. My body doesn't like that. I got a hive from it. Really, I was scratching all over and no. So I'm very sorry if my friend that sent me this sees this video. I'm sorry I'm checking it out, but really it doesn't do anything for me. It just makes me itchy. And I, I don't want to be itchy. That's why I'm actually contemplating on checking this one out too. I don't know, I might actually keep it to just try and if I get like a rash from it, I, I'm gonna throw it out. So I, I promise to try this one and then chuck it out if it doesn't work for me. Speaking about body lotion, this is the Pear Caramel by Froche. It was a very nice body lotion. Um, look, there's just a little bit left, but not enough for me to use on my legs or anything. I still have a shitload of this in shower gel, I was going to say body lotion, no, in shower gel, so I still have the scent because it's one of the best scents ever. Still have the perfume or the eau de toilette. And yeah, I hope they bring this one back this winter actually because it was so good. The Sias Aleo Intense, this is in uh, bright red. Yes, in or radiant red. You really can't tell anymore, but I was kind of the same color like on the box. I think it's almost a month, a month and a half since I colored it again. So I have to redo it again. Still looks fine for me. I have to go to the hairdresser because my roots really are showing. And I can't really cover them every time with some of this. I really need a good treatment. And my hair needs a little clipping too. Good ones, these. It just makes my hair a little greasy when I use it and then I have to kind of wash it kind of soon again but I don't mind because it keeps the color for a very long time. This is also a jelly that I smushed, the snowman jelly. Another Nightwing in its original pot still. Oh my god, hello. Please focus, focus on me, me, me. No. Doesn't want to focus, see if it wants to focus now. Now it focuses again. Very nice. Okay, so a Nightwing in its original pot. This is a scrub. Oh my god, why is it glitching now? This is a scrub from the Kruidvat. It's in... Um, oh wait, it's the Kruidvat Nature Aroma Caring Salt Scrub in the scent Hamam. I like the scent very much. I didn't really care for the scrub that much because I think it's a little bit oily. But I like salt scrub better than I actually like uh, my this salt. I like this salt scrub better than I like my tube with sand scrub. Although sand scrub is finer, and then I tend to go to sugar scrubs instead because they're not as painful as salt scrubs because these really can like cut into your skin. I don't like that, but that was a good one. This also is not what it seems to be. It is a container of shower gel. Yes, it didn't contain this shower gel. It didn't contain early harvest raspberries from the body shop. It contained a cherry shower gel that I bought once, um, like a prank shower gel. It wasn't a type, you know, blood bags? It wasn't a blood bag, so it was a, just for fun. I bought it and I had to pour it into it something else because otherwise I could not use it. I couldn't hang it in my shower because there was no real seal on it and it was like messy so I poured it in there. It was just fine. More shower gel. This is the Bath & Body Works Amber Blush. Okay, no focus. Don't mind. Amber Blush Shane Vitamin E Shower Gel. Smelled really 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 great i got it from a friend from america i used it and wow it keeps on going and going and going you don't really need that much from it and it just it's just great the crazy color by rainbow in pinkissimo this is my semi-permanent hair color that i used i think it's two months already i tried to dye my hair in a more 
gradient because I already have a little gradient in there with going fading to orangey tones. Um, but I wanted pink ends instead. I used this and it didn't really work because I didn't have enough. But it's fine colors these. I still use the red to kind of keep my hair a little bit vibrant and I have the orange and the yellow to keep my tips orangey yellowy. So there's a very fine colors. I'm using them for years now so that's fine. A little body oil. This is the NUX Real Prodigieuse. It's a multi-purpose dry oil for hair, face, body. I really liked it. and I think I can see the one I didn't talk about. This is the Maria Galant. This is the Satin Veil vale body oil. Very good body oil. Has a very nice scent. I really like the scent of it. It perfumes your body. You don't have to perfume yourself anymore. Um, mm, smells great. I am, I am actually going to buy a new one of this because I really, really, really like it. And back to the NUX one. I used the last bit of the NUX one to dilute the last bit of this so I can enjoy this longer because the NUX doesn't really have a lot of scent. I still have another one of these luxury samples that I got in a box I think somewhere on my blog there's the review of it I'm gonna see if I could put the link down below here or I can link whatever I am talking about somewhere down under the video in my blog in my blog um, this was actually very nice. It keeps my legs so very soft, even after shaving, right after shaving, it made my legs wow. Another body lotion, I'm checking this out. This is the So Elixir Bois Sensuel, the perfume body lotion by Yves Rocher. I'm checking it out because it's just not doing it for me. Really, it's like my grandma's scent. I don't like to smell like grandma or old lady. Yeah, that's just, to me, that's too strongly perfumed and too old ladyish for me. I'm not even gonna give it to a friend because it's actually still full. I'm not gonna give it to a friend because I don't wanna make someone smell like old grandmas. If they wanna smell like old grandmas and they buy it themselves, fine. But I don't want to give it to them and make them smell like old grandmas. Some little samples, lush samples. This is the ocean salt one. Really liked it. And this is the Grease Lightning one. Um, I have the full size of the Grease Lightning. I use it on the zits I have. It doesn't always work, but it calms them down and makes them less painful. You can see I have some here. Um, it doesn't really always help to cure them, to make them go away, but they're less red and they're less painful. I think that's already a big achievement. This is the Tony Moly Green Apple Tox Facial Peeling Mask, something like that. Um, I really enjoyed using it, although, let me say, I do enjoy the texture of it. I do enjoy the scent. I don't enjoy whatever it does to my skin. So that's why I enjoy using it, but although, it didn't really do a lot for my skin. It actually felt like it has little grains and it. it's like a milky texture, some fatter milky texture, like yogurt with grains in it. You put it on your face, you let the moisture suck into your face and then you can massage the grains around. And then it becomes kind of oily. Really oily. And it's not the oils from your face really, I think, I don't know. But then when you rub it... it it rubs off in like little peels and I always felt like I was rubbing off the dirt from my fingers and rubbing it into my face so that's the part I really don't like the rest of it I liked but rubbing in the dirt into my face and making me getting breakouts because I use this no thank you very much somebody told me it's actually you get breakouts because you actually rub out the dirt from your skin you're clearing your pores but no I got more blackheads too, so no, that's not what I was doing, I was getting the dirt into my face and that was not very nice. I got more of these, yes I have, these are the Health Farm Nose Pore Strips, used three of them, I think I used them on my nose and on my chin again, I'm not a big fan of them anymore, I used to use them a lot but I feel now like I'm damaging my skin when I'm using them. 
I'm peeling off layers of skin that I don't need to peel off and it gives me more impurities after than I had before. This is a lip balm from Yves Rocher in the scent Vanilla Lemon. Really liked it. I used it before bed. Every night before bed I put it on and I put a big fatty layer of it on so I can actually enjoy my night with soft lips and wake up with very soft lips in the morning. Just a little moment. This is a sample, let me get it out of the box, a sample of the Lancome Genifique, um, the activator, the youth activating concentrate. It's empty, totally empty, but I still got another one. It really goes on for a long time. Such a little tester, you only need a few drops to do your whole face. It makes me bloody radiant in my face. I look revived. Even though I'm not old at all, I'm just 28. It makes me look... Sorry, my computer just gave me screen. A <laughs> black screen. Because it goes into sleeping mode if I film too long. So, I was saying... The Genifique just makes me glow, look younger, even though I'm not old at all, yet. And it's just, it closes my pores, makes me look nice. It looks like I'm photoshopped, really, really. This is another shower gel. I go through lots and lots of shower gels. I use a lot of them. This is the Urtecram Nordic Birch shower gel. This is an organic certified one started to use more organic things when um, I did my natural May month last year and I totally got into using things like this. I bought this one then and I used it half and I used the rest of it now or a little bit of it that was in it um, now because it does wonders for my skin. It makes it soft, it makes it less like, I don't know, less greasy and it makes it less Prompt to get greasy and like here get zits yes get impurities and break out so I really like this one it's not that expensive for me in my opinion so I really really like it more naked wrappers this one is from the fruit nut nibble and fruit salad and this is from the bar and banana bread scent A little wrapper from a snow cake soap from Lush. I use this to make my own shower cream thing. Yeah, something that really did not work out, but I'm going to use it anyways. It's still foaming and it's still okay. Another one of my snowmans that I smushed. I used up a little eau de toilette from... Um, Yves Rocher, this is from Le Plaisir de Nature, um, in Vanille Pistache. I don't know if you can see it right. Okay, no problem. It's in Vanilla Pistache, as I already said. I really liked it. It's a very, very, very old one. It still has the metal cap. I don't know if you can hear that. It still has the metal cap and the old sticker. And I've been to Yves Rocher today and I saw that they redone their bottles again and they don't really have the big range of these anymore I really was bummed about that because I went really went in to get something berry scented I have the framboise somewhere but I wanted something I want the bramble berry or something I don't really know how it's called but I wanted that one and they didn't have it anymore so I was kind of bummed more shower gels. Oh my god. Please focus. Thank you. This is an American shower gel I got. It's a um, tropical scent. It's a body wash from... It says on the back. Wait. It's from Greenbrier. So I don't know where it's really from. I've never been into the USA. And I can see... You see that? It's kind of still leaking. I think it's all over the shit I have. It smelled... Okay. It didn't smell wowy, it smelled somewhat chemical, so I used it because I had to use it, I put it in my box, but otherwise I want to really chew it myself. Briar, bra, bra, briar, green briar, yeah, I said that right, I hope. Um, oh my god, yes, it's, it's all over the place, just a moment. 
this is a wrapper from my normal cotton ovals I can't say rounds because they're oval these are the ones from Boney the Max Maxi 100 cotton pads ultra soft okay and these are from Bella cotton found these at the local dollar store in the action also 50 large cotton rounds for makeup non-fleecing I like these two but now I have others I have like big square ones yeah I'm not really they're this big um, they're actually the white baby bums but they're just the same they're just saying cottons the big cotton squares that I can actually cut in half and do my whole face with one cotton or two cottons instead of using four or five and they have about the same price and I bought them in a packet of 480 or something because they're 80 in one big pack and I had six so I think that is really a bargain that I did really a bargain this is an Yves Rocher 3 minute mask in citron zest really liked it made my face look bright and I felt fantastic after using it and it smelled great a little soy scent from Pearl Mania in the scent fig or fig leaves no fig just fig is it figury it says figui figui can't even pronounce it but it's fig it's still in the burn and has been there oops has been there for ages I think it's been there for weeks now and I burn my burner at least once a week for four to six hours so it's been there for at least four weeks because it really has a big throw a big scent throw and even after all these hours it still has a big throw I think I'm gonna take it off my burner soon because I want another scent because of this one I didn't get to try or to use all the other scents that I put in my box to use but still I'm happy it's a fantastic scent this is my Cartier toothpaste look how neatly that is folded up on the back to get it out there really I got in there and I folded it and um, this was the whitening toothpaste with natural walnut bark extract it's also bio and organic certified really liked it I'm on another one right now you can read about it on my blog so I'm gonna put the link down below I was gonna say another toothpaste but it's actually it's actually a hand cream. This is the Ziyaya hand cream. I know you really can't see everything. I'm very, very sorry about that because I hardly have light outside and I only have stupid light in here. I really don't have professional lighting. So I'm so very sorry if my video is grainy and if you really can't see everything very clearly. This is the Ziyaya hand cream. Ceramids lipid concentrate, nourishing and regenerating. It did its job very, very well. I really liked it and it was kind of cool. It wasn't a toothpaste-like tube. It squeezed very easily. Um, that reminds me, I still have to find a nice toothpaste squeezer. I actually have to find a few for my facial creams or for my BB creams, for my hand creams if I need them, and for my toothpaste. So if somebody knows where I can find either very cute ones, I know on eBay, but um, I don't know if these break kind of easily and I don't want any that break kind of easily so if anybody knows where I can find these I hope you know where I can find them in Europe or um, some place that sends to Europe for another big fee or something um, I would like to hear um, where you found those Another mask from Yves Rocher, this is the Aqua Mask, it had blueberries in it, it was for a fresh skin, really refreshing my skin, it was very nice. Another old Yves Rocher um, thing, and everything is covered in that shower gel liquid, bah. This is the Biospecific Regulation Lotion 2-in-1 for um, greasy and mixed skin. It's a very old sample, they don't make it anymore by now. Really liked it, but had a little too much alcohol for my skin. And I'm almost at the end of my thing and everything is covered in shower gel by now. Um, this is a jar I used for an iced wine shower jelly from Lush. I also pureed this. It had a very, very, very nice 
last scent. Oh, this is, oh my god, it's covered. I hate it to be covered. Can you see it? It's like covered in the goop of the shower gel from the, ugh. Okay, bah. This is the Cutie Pie from Altine Mandarin and Cherry. This is a Shimmer Mist. I'm going to use it either because I'm going to have hives, a rash, I don't know how you call it. I'm, I'm going to scratch myself open again. It was a very, very nice scent, but I'm so sorry. And I can't use it in the toilet as a refresher because if it was just a body mist, I would use it in the toilet as a refreshing mist. But I can't make my toilet shimmer, can I now? Then it will look like I pooped unicorns or something. Another Ifrochet mask. This is the Pure System Clay Mask. Also three minutes. It was a fantastic thingy. I use it multiple times. I really use it a lot of times before it actually ran out. I don't think they even make these anymore. I'm not sure. It's possible they still make them. Okay, I'm going to fish out the rest because it's all covered in goop. I'm going to go through them quite quickly. This is um, a Sweet Sage Sense Soy. Um, and there goes my computer again. No, a sweet sa sage scent, rose jam, cake batter, uh, batter uh, wax melt. I was going to say soy scent, but it's a wax melt. It was on my burner for a very long time. Do smell delicious. I went through a Rexona uh, a roller deodorant uh, in the scent fresh. Really smelled fresh, and I felt fresh using it too. And this is something I'm checking out, the Yves Rocher uh, Peau Parfait 6-in-1 BB Cream. It really shows off my pores instead of hiding them, so I'm not going to use this. And it's a kind of tattoo light for me in summer. And I used it once and my boyfriend said I actually looked like I was dead. So, toodles. And some little wrappers of things I'm just going to... Go through very quickly. This is the Floating Island Bath Melt from Lush. Really, really great. A scented, uh, scented sachet by Pactor, designed in the UK, UK by Pactor.net. It's a scented sachet that's hanging in my closet. Can't say what scent because it's in my closet and not in this room. And this is a. Um, it's Youth House Play Therapy Soft Clay Pack. I put on my face, it was a facial mask, was great. But just a one-time user, you don't you don't really tell if it was very, very, very efficient, if it really, really, really helped. You did only know that after multiple times. But it was great to use, didn't sting or anything. So that was it. Okay, I went through all my stuff, there's just some goop left from the shower gel that just spilled all over. Um, I'm very happy you sat through the whole video and I'm very happy actually I used this all. It's quite a lot to use in three months and I didn't really go through, through, through everything. But I'm still grateful that I used it and that my cupboards just got a little bit more empty. I am still struggling with my addiction of wanting to buy more, 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 more. That's why I'm running out of lush space, I suppose. But on the other hand, all the shower gels are going down, um, soaps are going down, because I kind of use soap too, but there's nothing left to show you. My body oils are going down, everything is going down, so I'm dealing with my addiction a little bit at the time. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I inspired you to go through a lot of stuff too. Just go and clear out your closets. Take some things you've forgotten, you stashed away, you don't want to use because you only have a little bit left and you really like the product, you got to use that. It will go bad after a while, so go and get those products. Line them up, put them in a little basket or something so you see them every day and grab those things first instead of the products you usually use. Just use them up and celebrate the fact you use them and that your cupboard is a little more empty. Um, you can still use the hashtag. Hashtag, um, <laughs> I just forgot my own hashtag. Oh my god. Um, okay, I'm going to put the hashtag down below. Because I kind of forgot it. I, I just have a blackout. You can still use the hashtag. 
you can um, tag me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. No, on as Instagram, Twitter, and on Tumblr. It's Bunny One Eight. Um, and please, if you share um, pictures of whatever you used, mention me or um, just mention Bunny's Choice or Bunny's Empties, whatever. Just try to tag me in it so I can see whatever you used. And I know I had a little bit of impact on the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to go to my blog. Or if you're looking on my blog, thank you for being here. And I will see you next time in my next video. And I don't know when that will be. Okay? Bye.